Welcome back everybody to Nicky Palvon and to Space Engineers. Today I have a new ship for you. It's called Caravel Class Explorer and it's created by JLAM. So let's passing by by that awesome looking ship. First of all, I'm gonna show you the outside later on the inside and on the end I will crash the ship. So now it's passing by. Overall, it looks very interesting. It's a little bit offset. As you can see, I'm just gonna fly above it. On the on the right side of the ship, we have um, just some solar panels, also some engines. So it's a not symmetrical, a, bit, a little bit uh, off, but it looks great and it's a nice idea. I really, really like that idea. So on the back we have here some massive engines so we can accelerate very very fast. Down we have just some turrets. Also here on the side we have a um, hangar. Nice place to put a hangar. Really looks great. And on the other side we have just here the solar panels with some thrusters also on it. So now we are in the ship. On the right side up there we have a medical bay, a gravity generator and also some cryopods for the crew. Down here we have the main bridge of the ship here with the control. So we can also look outside. It's a very nice place to have a bridge with a little server in the middle. Also some controls and seats here in the back. In the other direction, down here we have the main refinery of the ship with many models on it. Also we have here the main cargo container which goes into the ship up there. Also here we have just some jump drives. So if we would go straight ahead and not down here to the refinery, we would go here to a room with some gyroscopes on the left side and also a computer. On the right side we have here just some glass so we can look down into the hangar. Down here we have just here a little room with some pipes. And this is the way to the back where the main fuel is stored for the ship. Also the oxygen tanks are here stored just a little bit above. Over looks nice here just here in the back so we can see everything. Also here on the back down the stairs here just a little bit hidden is the door so we can go into the hangar so just a little bit hidden but overall looks great and i have to say the the hangar looks very nice with the lights on the side for a little ship looks looks very fine so now i'm gonna go up the stairs so we are gonna land here up here we have just a little also a little cockpit with some reactors on the back here we have just a little room for you can build something in here again uh the ship is made without any mods also we can go here just we are gonna land back here by the um fuel for the ship and the uh, oxygen tanks down there and this is uh this are now all of the rooms so i'm gonna see you now in a moment where i'm near the planet the heat is now rising on the outskirts of the ship now we have a little bit of smoke so the heat is yes now we have a fire so i'm just gonna go also out of that so we can see everything a little bit better i mean it's hard to see through the flames but i think the ship is getting damaged well also there will be now the impact of that massive ship a little bit of lag here and there Ooh, nice impact. I can't see what is going on. I think the seat was completely loose. Sorry. I can see. Wow. Wow. That was a nice impact of the ship. Really, really nice impact. Just gonna turn my chat back again on. Wow. This is incredible. As you can see, the ship is just completely destroyed. I think this, yeah, this is just the hanger doors here. The front, the back. Everything is just completely damaged. Wow. Even on the back we have lost some engines. But it looks great for a crash set. Not for a crash landing, but for the crash side. So I'm just gonna see if everything is... Or better to say what is still intact. So the main bridge is just completely gone. Wow. Amazing. 
Well, I'm just gonna fly now a little bit away so we can see the crystal a little bit better. So we have a little bit of rumble laying around here. So I'm gonna see you now in a moment on the mountain or in space. I'm now on the mountain and I'm gonna let the ship now fall so we can see maybe a nice damage of the ship. I'm just gonna go out of that so we can see everything a little bit, bit better. Ooh, there's not a first impact and we have already a little bit of a damage. So it's still rolling down. Ooh, now we have hit the hangar door. Nice. So we now need to wait until the ship is completely down the cliff side. Nice impact again. Also on the front. Looks great. It's still rolling. Ooh, now there's a little bit of a lag. But nothing to worry about. It's an interesting tumbling. Also here in the middle we have lost a big part of the ship. Ooh, this was also a nice impact looks great so far the bridge is just completely gone nice also down we have ripped open the ship the back is also damaged we have still one massive engine but overall it's getting more and more damaged maybe it's gonna rip apart in two pieces but we will see that also we are now near the end of the cliff side so, just gonna wait until it's done. Wow, looks great. Nice. Still tumbling down. Ooh. The middle part of the hangar is just completely gone. There are no doors left of the hangar. So now on the last part it's getting more and more destroyed. Wow. So much damage on such a uh, big ship. Not a, not a little ship. So we can see also now back here where the oxygen would be stored. And now we have just a little bit of rumble left. Not, this, this is not really a, uh, a ship anymore. Just some things with uh, thrusters on it. And it should stop in any moment. It's just gonna slide now a little bit more down the mountain. Uh, here we have many of the parts laying around. Looks great. And the ship or the uh, left of, of the ship is now stopped or has not stopped. Um, There's nothing really left. I think maybe one corridor is still there but nothing really. And also the little bridge here with the reactors up on top. Well, because of that, I'm gonna see you in a moment where I'm in space again. So now I'm accelerating the ship so we can hit my spaceport. Also, I need to change something like that so we can see everything a little bit better. I hope I have lined up my ship very well. So now we need to wait until we hit it. Now we are gonna hit my spaceport in any second. I'm just gonna line it up a little bit better. And here is now the impact. Ooh, holy crap, I was just completely moved in front. What is going on? No clue at all. Wow. I need to see that a little bit better. Maybe can go out of here. Wow. Just completely stands like this looks very interesting very very interesting just gonna go to my free camera wow it's even getting more damage down here we have hit my spaceport even we have destroyed one reactor in my engine room of the station up here we have no damage at all and uh, doesn't look like it because the oxygen is still inside of the station we just hit here the corridor also that little corridor here on the side. Wow, and the little corridor up here is also completely ripped open. Now let's see how the ship is doing. I think the bridge is just completely gone. This is here. The, is this the back, the front? I don't know. I need to see. I think this is here, the front. And it just completely went down. Here would be the bridge area. Also we have here the reactors. Inside we have no damage. Up here we have a little bit of damage. I need to fly a little bit like that. 
Um, so, um, well, yes, the hangar is damaged, but it looks great. Interesting crash, crash site. So now I'm going to fly a little bit away so we can see everything a little bit better. And then I'm going to end my video. So if you want to download the chip for yourself, you can do that. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Also for the speed mod and the re-entry mod. Yeah, so leave a like if you want, subscribe to me or leave a comment. That will help me. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Goodbye.